Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a detailed way I do my braid outs. This braid out is done on stretched hair. So pretty much now I'm just combing out the kinks in my hair and I'm going to put my hair into four separate sections. I find that I get better results when all my braid outs and twist outs when my hair has been stretched. So as you've seen, I spritz my hair with water and then I use the aloe vera gel. And then I'm going to apply the Carol's Daughter Mimosa Hair Honey. I love this stuff. I use this to seal in all that moisture. It also gives my hair a nice shine and often it also softens my hair. So once I apply the water gel and the hair butter, I'm just going to braid my hair. I'm going to show you a close up of how I pretty much braid my hair. It's kind of hard for me to explain how I do it, but I'm just going to show you kind of slow down how I braid each um, each section of my hair. And sometimes once I get to the end, I have to add a little more water or some more of the olive oil gel. And once I do that, I just twirl my hair around to form a curl. You can also um, use like flexi rod, either like a flexi rod or like a perm rod, and you can roll your ends, or you can take paper and roll your ends too. But I just like to just twirl my ends now because I don't feel as though that's necessary. But I used to do that when I was transitioning. I would roll the ends of my hair. Okay, so I have a total of six braids in the back, three on each side. Now I'm going to um, cornrow, I've cornrowed the front section of my hair, so I have three cornrows on each side. And the um, front cornrow that I'm doing right now, I'm going to keep both of those in on each side because I'm going for like a braided crown look. But yeah, I'm just um, going rowing the front section of my hair. Okay, now, so like I said, that's a total of 12 braids, six on each side. That's how it looks. And then I'm just going to add the Argan Oil from Morocco, a weightless um, dry oil. I think it's from OGX. I'm going to spritz that to add a little shine to my hair. And then I'm going to add my goody hair pins, and then I'm going to pin my hair. You pin the braids to the opposite side of my head as you're seeing me do now. This allows my um, braids to stay stretched so that I won't have shrinkage um, when I take my hair down the next day. So I'm pretty much just wrapping the braids around my head just to make sure that my hair stays nice and stretched. Then what I'm going to do is take my hair scarf and just tie that in place. Then I'm going to let my hair air dry overnight. And that's it. Then I wake up the next morning guys and then I just take down all the pins. Then once I take all down all the pins, I'm just going to take that Argan Oil Morocco Oil. And I'm going to just um, spritz my hair again and unravel each braid. And when I'm unraveling, unraveling the braids, I take my time on this. I don't rush, as you can see here. Even though this video is a little sped up, I take my time and I'll just unravel each braid. Okay guys, so now that I've taken out all of the braids, now this is how it's looking. So now I'm just going to unwrap, well, separate my hair to my liking. Pretty much I don't use a pick or anything to separate my hair. I just kind of take my time in separating 
each section just to kind of make sure it's nice and full. I don't see any parts and it's just everything has is covered. And um, once I separate to my liking and to my fullness that I want, I'm just going to take these little gems, little gold lock jewelry, and I'm going to put those on my little braids that's still in my hair. And that's pretty much the style. That's how my results turned out. Turned out really well. Um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know if you try this braid out method. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.